Hello and welcome to the second video on linear equations in one variable, which is second video. This is chapter number two of year eight NCRT book. You remember we did the first video where we taught you how to solve this equation. And now we're going to be forming the equations, then solving it. Forming means you're going to make the equations out of the written word, written context then solving. Solving method will be the same as the last video. So I might not solve many of the questions, but I will teach you how do we form the equations in here. Okay, the second question of the exercise. I'm going to read this one by one, people. Really important in these kind of questions in how do we make the equation or form the equation. So it says the perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool. So I'll just draw a diagram if I have to. Rectangular swimming pool is like this. This is the length, and this is the breadth, this is the length, and this is the breadth as well. Okay, and the perimeter, that means we add all the four of them. The answer is 154, so I'm going to use that later. Perimeter equals 154. Then, this is the important part, guys. Its length is two meters more than. Really important. Try and understand the technique for me. You have to assume, you have to take one of the thing as one of the quantity as a letter. I would advise you to always read carefully and take X or M or L or whatever you want. The quantity which follows after the word then. Okay, that is what the reference point is. You're comparing the other thing with respect to that reference. Then twice its breadth. So guys, let's say the breadth be x meters okay now the length is I'm, I'm going to read this one by one in order it says the length is is means equals two meters more than something i'll leave that space for that two meters more means you're going to add two and more than what twice twice means twice two times its breadth and how much is the breadth we started with x so let's start again. We take X as the thing, which is the reference point or which follows the word then, which in this case is the breadth, let the breadth be X meter. Then read step by step and do as directed. It's length, length is, is equal to two meters more than, so add two something, twice its breadth. So guys, the length is two X plus two. Okay, now we use the given information to make an equation. So it is 2x plus 2, that's the length, plus x, which is the breadth, plus 2x plus 2, again, which is the length, and plus x, again, which is the breadth, okay? So that means you doing length and the breadth, and length and the breadth. We add them together to get the perimeter, and perimeter is given to me is 154. All right, people, we simplify this. How many axes do we have? Two here, one here, two here, one here. All of them added. This is 6x plus 4 equals 154. And you know how to solve this equation. We're using my previous video. You've learned this already. So I stop here. I will let you do. I call it DIY. Do it yourself. Okay. We'll give you the answer a little later. Okay. The second question now, which I've taken, taken from the exercise is question number 7. Have a look. Have a read. We work on it together. All right then, people, the important information is the word sum. I'm sure you know it. I'll tell you this again anyway. Sum stands for the addition. You've got to add whatever you want to find the sum for. And what is this in this case? Three consecutive. The word consecutive means which follow one after the other. Three, four, five are consecutive numbers. Two, four, six are consecutive odds. Two, three, five are three consecutive prime numbers which follow one after the other. And multiples of eight, multiples of eight means numbers which come in eight times tables or with numbers differ by eight. For example, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. They're all multiples of eight. They're all consecutives as well. But we want to find three of them whose sum means the total of all, of the, all three of them is 888. Okay, guys, in this case, generally, there's no word than given. So what are you going to do? I'm going to generally take the smallest thing, okay? And smallest here is, let's say, smallest multiple we're talking about is x. Okay, what will be the next multiple after x is? Because multiples of 8 means we add 8 into them. So 
it will be x plus 8. For the next one, I add 8 more into it, there will be x plus 16. I hope you understand, people. This is the first number, the multiple of 8. Then times it, sorry, add 8 into it to get the second next one. Then add 8 more, 8 plus 8 is 16. Right, so what's given to me, people, is sum. So add them, x, the first one, x plus 8, the second one, and x plus 16, the third one. And the answer is 888. Simplify this. How many x's do we have in this case, people? 3x, 8 and 16 gives me 24, 888. Okay, that's an equation which is type 1 for what we did yesterday, similar to this. So I'll leave it to you to try it yourself. Then we'll check the answer a little later. Okay, then we have a look at the third one, people. I've just done what I've just used Bai Chung's name as just B because to avoid writing Bai Chung again and again, do you know what Bai Chung is? Okay, it's the name of the person. Wow, we're the most famous Indian football captain as well, by Chimbutia. Anyway, we just use this B there, guys. Read this question, we work on it together. All right, guys, so in this case, there's two comparisons. The father and the grandfather is a comparison. Grandfather follows word after then. And then the father and the son be himself. There is comparison there as well. Okay, so you've got a choice. I will just take the first statement and let's say the grandfather's age, GF is grandfather, I'm sorry. Okay, age is X. Okay, the father now is smaller than the grandfather by 26. So that will be X minus 26. Now B, as compared to dad now, it is B, dad is 29 years older than B, that means B is 29 years smaller than dad, younger than dad, so this is X minus 26, and take away 29. Then, ladies and gentlemen, these are the three ages of these three people we're talking about, three generations, okay, and the total, the sum of all of them is 135. Let's form an equation then, so X plus, that's a grandfather, X minus 26, that's a father, plus x minus, what does that give you? 55, I, I guess, and is equal to 135. We simplify this, okay, and that gives me three x's and minus 81. I hope I'm doing this right, okay. So this is three x, okay, that's an equation. I'll leave it there, guys. People DIY, solve this equation to find the value of x, okay. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna come back to the first question we did here. And I hope you've done that, people. Let's solve the equation. Transposing circle and arrow. That's the one I'm after. You got to go, mate. This is take away 4. So 6x is equal to 154. Take away 4. 6x is equal to 150. Okay, I'm only after x. Okay, so 6 is the extra bit. So 6 is doing what? That, remember that invisible time sign? So 6 will have to go. So it will be divided. So x is equal to 150 divided by 6. And the answer is, I'm sure your calculations are better than mine. This is 2 and 25. So x equals 25. The question asked you to find the length and the breadth. So x equals 25 will not get you full marks because they didn't give you what x is. But you assumed x was the breadth, guys. So the answer is breadth equals 25. And the length is... We substitute breadth over here, x over here, so length will be twice of breadth, which is two, twice of 25, add to 55. Then, ladies and gentlemen, this is once again equations, like I said to you, it gives you a chance to check if your answer is right. If you add them together, that gives you what this gives you, 77, then double it, that should give you 154, so parameter is 154, that is the correct answer. Move on here, so 3x, we this has to go because the letter term is what you're after. Make them make this alone. That gives you 888. Take away 24. If I'm doing this right, guys, this is 864. Then 3 is what we need to go because we're only interested in the letter. So 3 is invisibly multiplied here. So you'll be going and dividing the other side. So 864 divided by 3. I'm pretty sure you, you can do this. This answer is 3 goes into 8 twice. Remainder 2, that makes it 26. 3 goes into 26 8 times. Remainder 2, that makes 24. 3 goes into 24 8 times. So x equals 188. But what was x in the question? There was nothing. 
okay but what did you take x was the smallest multiple so your smallest multiple is 288 what's the next one is add 8 into it 296 what's the next one add 16 into it or 8 more into it that gives you 304 then ladies and gentlemen once again can we add them together to see the answer is 888 i'm pretty sure it is okay so we move on from there so this equation from there then people that's where we reach this time it's take away 81 sorry sir you have to go so add to the other side so 3x is equal to 135 add 81 gives me 136 and 80 216 i think yes then this 3 which is invisibly multiplied over here we need to take this off because we are only interested in the letter so 216 divided by 3 that gives me 72 so 72 years is the age of one of the three person what was the x in the question the girl the grandfather's age so grandfather is grandfather is 72 okay father is 26 years smaller than them younger than them i keep saying smaller so father is 72 take away 26 i think it is 46 okay i hope it's right 72 take away 26 and mr b is 46 take away 29 more which is 17 okay add them together 5 135 so this means these three answers are right as well so I think people, this is my first video on XS 2.2. Let's see if I can do some more questions. Video is only 30 minutes long, so I can do some more questions probably from this exercise. All right, I have actually decided that we move on to XS 2.4, where you have the variable or the letter in both the sides of equations will be slightly more complicated. Okay, but we learned to do this, guys. Really important. Read the statement very carefully. Underline the important word. First statement comparison s i think it's show by i don't know what the name was s's mother it's present age six times s's present age okay there's no word than there but i can still see this s age is the reference point because mom is six times the age of this so first of all which time they're talking about presence let's write down in age questions it's really important that you understand the time scale very well Okay, let S's age be X years. So mother's age would be six times this, six X years. Right, then what's given to you is guys, five years from now. That means we're gonna be going five years ahead, like it's 2020 today, so it will be 2025 they're talking about. Okay, so I'll write down that time scale as well. So five years from now, the two people s would be x plus 5 and mother would be 6x plus 5 okay now comes the next statement people it says five years from now s will be so s is age is this five is from now i'm reading it step by step so s will be means it will be equal to one third of so one third of mother's present age very important catch in this question it's not one third of mother's age in five years time it is one third of mother's age which is present and present for 6x okay so we simplify it x plus 5 you know what one third of 6 is which is 2 it's 2x that's an equation solve it diy i'll come back we we'll work on it later okay now i'm going to do what guys i'm going to do this amun's age question question number 10 Amun's age is three times his son's age. So son is the reference point. Let's say present time, because is means at the present time. Son is x. So Amun is three times x, which is three x. Okay, what is the other time frame given to me is? Um, 10 years ago. In this question, guys, in the previous one, we had five years from now, so we went forward 2020 2025 but here it's 10 years ago so let's write down 10 years ago that means now we're looking at um 10 years before today which is 2010 in the case 2010 so sun was x minus 10 because everybody was 10 years younger at that time i was as well i like that age so aman was 3x minus 10 years as well 
Okay, now let's see what is given, what's the relationship given to me. It says, 10 years ago, he, he, the subject of the statement is Aman. So 10 years ago, Aman was, that was Aman's age. So 10 years ago, he was, was means equals five times. We have to do five times something, his son's age. This time, this is 10 years ago, he was five times his son's age at that time. Not the present age like in this question. Okay, this is times a son's age at that time was x minus 10. Okay, people, let's solve this equation then. Simplify, I would say, A equals we multiply out the bracket, it is 5x minus 50. So, right, this is the equation, dy. I'll come back and help you with that a little later. Variable on both the sides, you would have checked my video before. Okay, now this is a real, real good one. Okay, let's see. I'm going to actually leave that um, for you to do yourself, but I'll just explain a few things here. One of the two digits of a two-digit number, that means one, you're looking at 47 for argument's sake, so one of the digits is four, one of the digits is seven, okay, is three times the other digit. So 47 can't be that number because none of the digits is three times the other. Let's try, guys. 26, can this be? Because six is three times the other. Okay, 39, can that be? Yes, because 9 is 3 times the other. 31, can that be? Yes, because 3 is 1 times the other. 3 is 3 times the other, which is 1. Obviously, I'm just trying to explain to you what does this statement means. Okay, obviously, I don't know if the numbers are these. I'm not making any guesswork over here. Okay, if you interchange the digits, let's do interchanging in the same question here. If I interchange the digits here, I get 62, I get 93, I get 30. Obviously, the condition still holds. One through digits is three times the other. In digits and add the resulting numbers to original number, add the resulting numbers to original number, you get some is 88, you get 88. So luckily, can you see, I get the answer, the 88. So that's the original number we're talking about. Okay, original number could be actually 62 or 26 both. I don't know. Guys, how do we work that out is really, really important. Okay. I want to start with two questions here. And let's say the two digit number will have two spaces. One is the unit digit or ones digit. And second will be the tens digit. Okay. Let's say you take units digit as x and tens digit will be 3x. I hope you agree with me, people. Right? Now, if this is the question, how do we write the expanded value of the number? The number would be, people, try and understand this. This is really, really important. If I write 47 here, and I want you to write this in expanded form. This will be 4 times 10, because 4 is placed at the 10's place, plus 7 times 1, because 7 is placed at the 1's place. Okay, so number here would be 10 times 3x, okay, and plus 1 times x, which gives me 31x. Hope you understand this. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to be swapping the digits, guys. The units digit becomes 3x and the tens digit becomes x. So number this time now, so using the same principle, 10 times x, because that's tens digit, plus 1 times 3x, we get 13x. Hope I'm getting my calculations right. Okay, then it says to me after that, if you add the resulting number to the original, this is the resulting number, this is the original number, that's the original, this is the resulting because I got this one after I swapped the digits. So I do, I add them. So 31x plus 13x, the answer is 88. Okay, so that gives me 44x equals 88. Then you suddenly realize that you're only after x. 44, unfortunately, will have to go to the other side and it's multiplied the invisible time sign, it will be divided. So x equals 88 divided by 44, so x equals 2. That means, guys, we have started from the original number. That was the original number. My x is 2, 10th digit is 6, 
okay so guys my number 10 in that case is 62 but is there a variation in the question guys because it says one of the two digits it did not say the tenth digit was um, three times the unit digit could be another way around as well unit digit could be 3x and tens digit would be x you'll actually get exactly same working because when you swap you get units as x and tens as 3x okay so when you get the numbers you get here in this case we'll get x plus 10x plus 1x and 10x plus 3x sorry in this case you're going to get 10 times 3x plus 1x so you get 13x as the original number and 31x the swapping number add them together you get x equals 2 in this case that means the number in that case would be um tens digit is 2 so number would be 26 so both of them could have been the answer for this question okay ladies and gentlemen with that uh, obviously i haven't solved these equations i'm pretty sure you can do it let's do this here please letters to this side take away numbers to this side take away you could have left in that side as well but generally i told you yesterday in the previous video that we take letters to the left so x take away 2x equals minus 5 so minus x equals minus 5 so we divide this is minus 1 times x so divide by minus 1 so x equals 5 and x was what x was s's present age so mom's present age will be so s is x years old so five years old and mom presently is 30 years old okay five times six right for this one we solve this guys bring this to that side that we take away bring this to this side that we adding it always help if you do the circle and the arrows so 3x take away 5x equals negative 50 is already there plus 10 coming from there that gives me minus 2x equals minus 40 so minus 2 is multiplied invisibly with x there we divide so we get x equals minus 40 divided by minus 2 so x equals 20. guys what was x x was the sun's age present and um, um i hope i got that right yeah so Amon's age will be 60 right 10 years ago son was 10 and Amon was 50 yeah that's correct actually so son's present son is 10 20 years old now and Amon is 60 years old now these are the answers all right ladies and gentlemen it's getting very long so i'll be ending this video here hope it helps you and this will be um finishing chapter two for this ncrt book on your rate it's linear equations in one variable thank you very much happy learning